hello and welcome everyone i welcome you all to this video and in this video i'm going to show you how to add the cisco iol which is the ios on linux on in your eve ng now uh, you, as you can see i have my eve ng running on my vmware workstation pro and the ip that i have is 192.168.1.190 so i will just log on log into the gui of the evng using my credentials which is admin and a password eve all small letters this is the default one and i will just want to show you so right click node and i will scroll down to the cisco iol which is grayed out so that means i don't have the images here and that is the task of this video right to enable this right so as you can see I have uh, this uh, document with me which I have created so that you guys can follow this step by step and I have also mentioned the link to download the file you can just uh, copy or click on this directly and you will end up uh, uh, in this web page now you have a couple of uh, downloads options here so you just have to download one L2 and one L3 image I basically have downloaded two and these are the two that I have downloaded so you can also download this or maybe you can download some other ones whatever you like okay so after downloading this you can come back here and uh, uh, next thing is to basically uh, go to this uh, directory inside your eve ng so uh, I will use the uh, powershell to ssh into my evng so i will uh, use the root account to i mean you also will have to use the root account ssh password is eve so i am inside this then i can do a cd then copy this all okay i don't want the colons uh, let me copy this okay copy cd and then front slash and then paste okay i'm inside this one ls as you can see i don't have anything in this folder now i can uh, also use the winscp to access the um, file system of uh, evng log into this and use the EVG. now if you don't know how to do it uh, as a new file so you can just tab on this new site uh, enter the ip of the evng which is 192.161.190 then uh, username is root and then um, click on login and then uh, specify the password which is eve or small letters default one go to opt uh, unit lab now uh, you can see the directory here unit lab then you have add-ons then you have iol then bin so inside that you can see there is nothing um, inside right no files are inside so the files that you have downloaded go to that uh, uh, folder i have in my downloads basically so it should be in my downloads yeah downloads uh, yeah this one so inside this i have these two files i'll just drag and drop it into the file system of evng like this okay and wait this to be copied to the file system of evng okay next uh, so we have already done this uh, scroll down now so the next step is to create the iourc license this is basically the license file which we have to uh, uh, create and then this is basically a, a python file script so we just copy this whole content and then uh, right click on the desktop and then uh, create a new text file name it something if whatever you want i'm just naming it as gen dot py remember to uh, modify the extension that is really necessary that's a python script open it to notepad and paste all that content and file save now after saving this you have to basically move this file into the same directory inside the evng so i'll go to my desktop and drag and drop this gen.py file inside the same directory okay once that is done i can go to the cli okay this part is done right so now i will go to my mm, this thing uh, the cli of uh, evng the powershell right so once i have uh, there i am there i have to check if this is showing in the cli uh, um, yes or no 
So I'll go here and do an ls again. So last time there was nothing. Now I have these three files that I've just now copied and the gen file. Now after this, you have to basically run the Python file. Now to check which file, uh, version you're running, the command is python dash dash version. And this one is seems to not run the Python 2, maybe Python 3. So we can do Python 3 dash dash version. And yeah, so this is running the Python 3. So in order to run the Python 3 script, you have to specify Python 3 and then the script name, which is gen.pi in our case and hit enter. And now you can see that the license has been generated license and then the host name and then the key, right? So this is a good sign. Now you have the license and the key. Now, after this, you go to the document and now you can see that after we did all this, we have the file now, this part. So we are here and then you have to basically create a file using nano through the CLI or you can also um, use the web GUI, right? So the file name should be IOURC, IOURC. Okay, so you can also use the web GUI, but I am going to use the uh, nano editor in via the CLI. You can also do the same, just follow uh, the steps uh, along with me. So I'll go on uh, on the CLI and type nano and then the, or you can just right click copy here and uh, paste it on the text, uh, this uh, CLI, right click here, paste, enter. Once you have uh, here, copy this whole thing and paste it to the file. So right click and paste it to the file. Remember the semicolon and then to save control O and then hit enter to save the file and then control X to exit. Okay. So you can see that we have all this LS and you have the IOURC file. Now you have all these four files. So that's what we have to do. Now we can basically go and uh, you can see all these four files are there, right? So this is the final point. Now you have to fix the permission using this command. You can just uh, copy the whole command and paste it on the CLI, right click here. Uh, okay, so I was not able to copy. Uh, let me just copy again. That and that is why I like the uh, PowerShell so that you can copy paste commands like this, right? This. So one time I would do it twice to be on the safer side. That is my habit. So one more time and now let's back uh, head back to the mm, web GUI to check the uh, images. So I'll right click, click on node, scroll down. You can see this is enabled now, Cisco IOL. Click on that and then I will go to, yeah, now here you have two options L2 and L3. So let's uh, select one by one. So I'll go with the L2 or the L3 first. Let me go with the L3. Now, if you go with L2, remember to change the icon to the switch icon and the uh, name or the prefix also to SW. Okay, and then save it. You can also, uh, I mean, uh, get multiple ports. One port group will have four ports. Two means eight ports. And also you want to add serial ports, you can do it. Save it. And uh, run the switch. Open. Okay, I'm having some issues here. I don't know why this is not working. Let me check uh, again. Uh, let me wipe the image and then start. And then open up. Okay, so this is having an issue. Let me try and add a router. Scroll L3, save, uh, wipe this again, and then uh, start. Okay, and then open up. Okay, so I'm having some issues. So I think I have done something wrong. Let me try again. Double click. Okay, this is not working. So uh, we would have to check back again. Let me go to CLI. I have the IOURC file, right? I will fix the permission one more time, maybe. Uh, that is the issue. And let me check. Or I can cat the file that is the IOURC. I can see, oh, 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 I have not copy pasted the license. Actually, I've just copy pasted the dummy uh, text, right? From my document, the license is what we generated, right? So if I, if you see, I've copy pasted the dummy um, text from the document that I've created, right? So I have to basically copy paste the license that we generated. 
so we can edit this uh, okay select and back so this is not working i have to basically um replace this text with the license anyways uh, i'll just delete this whole file so i'll do a control x to exit and then no here on the buffer control x and i'll do an rm which is the remove remove file and then rm and then iourc then i'll create a new file right hit enter here now if you do ls you should not see the file yeah then we will do a nano and let's create the iourc file again i'll just copy this thing okay and then mm, iourc enter then right click uh, uh, control o enter control x to exit done so now everything should be fine i'll just uh, fix the permission okay now let's head back to the web gui and let's delete this basically and and um, add new notes refresh one more time just to be on safer side note scroll down cisco iol save um wipe yes start the node double click open and yes so that was the issue and you can see let me add uh, uh, the switch as well sorry the router as well so i'll change uh, the okay that is the router the earlier one was a switch okay and then save so the first one is basically a switch this one this is the router i'll start this um, after wiping start and then if you see here it's a switch yeah so enable and we'll check a couple of commands show interfaces status which is running fine i will also check the show vtp show vtp um summary no it says status i think summary no or a brief i think uh, it's uh let me hit a question mark yeah it's uh status oh so v2b status that is running fine you can also sh check the version show version and as you can see this is basically ios 15 yeah 15 dot yeah 15 version and then you can do the same on this one hit a no on the router and then yeah so you can just do a show ip interface brief here and also if you want show version here uh the 15.7 is running and you can do a show ip interface brief here okay so you can see the interfaces for interface you want to add you know how to add it edit the node and add more pro groups there uh so that is what we have done in this video we have successfully added the cisco iol inside the eve ng and that is all for this video guys i hope you like the uh, content of the video and uh, i will see you in the next video and uh, until then bye bye take care see you in the next video